Welcome back everybody. Time for some more Victory at Sea Pacific and it's time to start moving this thing forward. Uh, I want to be getting into 1943 with a little bit more territory on my side and I want to be able to start building some land-based bombers that I can use to get at uh, the Japanese mainland. So we're going to need to get up probably to Iwo Jima to do that. Uh, which obviously wasn't taken historically till 1945. Uh, but we're going to try to push that up, maybe get there by 1944. Uh, we're going after right now this fleet here. It's got five destroyers, a light cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and a battleship. Uh, but the real target, of course, is that big fleet that's got four carriers down here near the Solomons. But uh, we're not quite in the place to go after that right now. Right now we're sending the Yorktown Task Force and Carrier Task Force Alpha. Uh, so that's three carriers total out to try to deal with this and obviously uh, all these are fighters coming from truck lagoon so they actually went really far i'm surprised they've got the range for that all right so we had six destroyers that were coming at midway from the north and between this light carrier here the princeton and the land-based aircraft on midway we took care of them pretty easily uh, so right now what we're doing is we're trying to consolidate all of our forces into basically three groups uh, right now i've got I've renamed some of these to make it a little easier. Carrier Group A uh, has Pillar of Autumn and a wanna buy, you want to buy her plus the ships that are along with them. I'd like to get a couple more battleships with that group at some point. Let's see what's going on here. Another six destroyers coming down toward Midway. That just happened a minute ago, so I guess we're going to take out six more. He does seem to have an endless supply of ships. Uh, Wolfpack Charlie here, we're just waiting to um, get them sent out here. We're going to probably do that very soon. Those are five subs, so I probably don't want to deal with them. And that group there has destroyers, so I don't think I want to go that way. I think I, I might go ahead and send Wolfpack Charlie out just on a patrol for now. Uh, Task Force 46, which is just the Princeton right now heading to Midway. I need to get a couple more ships there. Uh, with the Princeton, but I think probably we're going to keep the Princeton there just as kind of an additional defense force for Midway for anything that might sneak in from the north. Uh, Carrier Group C is the Hornet, the Lexington, along with their escort ships. They also don't have any battleships, so I'm going to need to change that at some point. Uh, Task Force 47 is two heavy cruisers that are headed toward the Aleutian Islands to join uh, the Washington, which is also there. And we're going to get those three together, and then we're probably going to go launch a raid on that Aleutian port that the Japanese took from me. Carrier Group B is in Wake Island. That's probably my most powerful right now. It's got the Essex and the Hammond, uh, along with uh, a number of battleships, Colorado, Tennessee, North Carolina, Maryland, a bunch of cruisers, uh, a couple of destroyers. We need to get some more destroyers in that group. But otherwise, that's kind of the breakdown of most of my forces while we continue to wait for some more things to be built. So I'm going to go to Pearl and queue up some Fletcher class destroyers. Uh, we can only build three of those at Pearl. Let's go ahead and look at the other places, what we've got going. Uh, an Essex and an Iowa being built in San Diego. So we've got room to build a few more things there if we want. Uh, over at Mare Island right now, just an Essex class carrier. Maybe we'll get a few more. Fletchers as well as a porter or two going along with them. Get all of those upgraded. And then Puget Sound, uh, two Cleveland class light cruisers going right now along with the Intrepid, which is already built, uh, along with the South Dakota as well. All right, so before I forget, uh, Brian Reardon, uh, as promised in the last episode, we were waiting for an Essex-class carrier to be built. Uh, so uh, as I mentioned last episode, his grandfather flew Hellcats off the USS Randolph, which was an Essex-class carrier late in World War II. And so he asked if I would name a uh, name a Essex-class carrier uh, the USS Monaghan. So there you have it. That one's sitting right now uh, over on the uh, west coast waiting for some more ships to be completed so we can get them to set sail. Okay, so now at Wake Island we have three carrier groups. We have Carrier Group C. Uh, you can see there what they've got. Pretty su substantial force. Carrier Group uh, Carrier Group B, gar Carrier Group C, a little smaller, uh, but still has two carriers with it and a number of destroyers. And then the Saratoga Task Force. So it's five carriers total. And I think they're all set. I'm just looking. Looks like they're all pretty well refueled. 
Uh, all their planes have been upgraded and replaced. I think we're ready to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start making the big move toward Truck Lagoon. And I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we'll be close enough to defend Wake Island if anything happens. I'll kind of hold the Saratoga Task Force back a little bit just in case anything happens and we're gonna send group B and group C toward truck lagoon but we'll keep our eyes kinda of peeled for anything that might happen before we make any final decisions about attacking right over here we've also got in fact I'm gonna go ahead and just keep I don't know why Group C isn't moving yet. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Saratoga Task Force here at Wake. And the reason why, I'll explain in a second. Uh, oh, down here in the Marshalls, I've also got a couple of carrier task forces. So I've got plenty to assist going after truck with a major force. And I can still keep the Saratoga back. All right, we're seeing some planes here, Navy planes. So there's obviously a carrier somewhere in this area. And we're actually taking on some fighters too. So uh, let's slow down the time because we're going to start dealing with his fighters. We'll launch our, our fighters from all of our carrier groups. to get up in the air and start dealing with these guys. Because at some point very soon we're going to find at least one carrier somewhere. I've got three carrier groups in this area. So I've got a total of six carriers converging on one spot. You can, oh my gosh. Hold on. Did I see 40 of his fighters or was that mine? Yeah, that's my my fighters. Oh, where are you guys going, man? Take out these fighters. All right, I think we spotted the fleet. That's the one with the five destroyers, a light cruiser, a heavy cruiser, a battleship, and a carrier. So this is going to become uh, similar to what happened at Midway early on, and you can see Carrier Group A is now sending all of her fighters out there to join in the fray. Uh, thankfully, we're not sending any dive bombers or anything of that nature just yet. We're just trying to take out his fighter cover and make my job a little easier to go in. And I want to be careful here because he does have a battleship. Uh, so I don't want to get too close. Let's go ahead and kind of put all of our carriers to converge in this area over here while we deal with his fighters. All right, I'm only seeing just a couple of fighters coming out uh, at this point. He's got two here, six here, or four here, a total of six maybe. Uh, so we'll keep on dealing with them, but I real I've got to get at the rest of this fleet before he gets too close. Uh, so let's go ahead and select all of our bomber flights. I'm gonna pause because I want to get them all going at the same time. Carrier Group A's group is going to take a little bit longer to get there. Looks like we lost a few fighters there. But we should be able to wipe this fleet out completely. I don't know why they're going all the way over there like that, but... Alright, let's see what happens. Speed things up a little bit while we get close. First group is right there. He does only have just a handful of fighters left. Certainly nothing that's going to be able to do anything about what I'm sending in at him. The main concern now is anti-aircraft fire from the surface fleet. 
So again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna issue any specific orders for attack to these guys. I'm just gonna let them do their own thing. Because it never seems to end well when I when I try to specify targets. I've got to upgrade, I've got a lot of SBDs, and you can see how far behind they're falling from the hell divers. Alright, so here's the fleet. It's a big one, so we're gonna lose some planes here. But I hope we're going after the carrier. The carrier and the battleship are my two targets of greatest concern. And it does not look like we're going after the carrier. At least not yet. We're going after a destroyer, which is an interesting target because he's going to be the hardest to hit. But we took him out. Kaga, and I think we've sunk a Kaga before, and people keep asking, didn't you already sink a ship with that name? And yes, oh, we did. But it definitely reuses names pretty frequently on this game. But there we go, scratch another Japanese carrier. I don't even know how many that is at this point, but we've sunk a ton of them. All right, we finished off the fleet that we were fighting there including the battleship and all the escort planes, uh, escort uh, ships. So let's see, we did we did lose some, but I think we've still got plenty to go ahead and deal with the attack on Truck Lagoon. So let's go ahead and continue with that plan. We'll move all three, three carrier groups in that direction. Meanwhile, up here in the Aleutians, the J.A. Morris, the Baltimore, and the Washington are all now together there. Uh, so we're going to get them all joined up. I don't think we have... Oh, we do have a little bit of fuel there, so... We'll let them get refueled, refit, and ready to go. And then we're going to go ahead and launch a, a raid on that Aleutian Island. Over here at Pearl, uh, let's take a look, because I think we've completed some ships there. We've got three new destroyers that have finished up at Pearl Harbor. Uh, so let's go ahead and send them up to Midway for now. And eventually we'll link them up with some other ships. Uh, here you can see the three carrier groups. And carrier group C is kind of taking the lead at the moment. They're going to get there first. So once we get a little closer, we'll kind of slow them down. We'll get them all organized. And we'll prepare to scout this. And we've got to be really careful. It's a major port, so it's going to be heavily defended. I need to make sure that I'm very specific about my attack on Truck Lagoon. Uh, what we probably want to do, rather than use planes, is I think I'll probably just get within sight uh, and bombard her with the uh, with the battleships. All right, the enemy's launched an amphibious attack on Tulagi. Uh, you can see here, oh, it's five destroyers, a light cruiser, heavy cruiser, battleship, and carrier. Uh, so it's not that major, huge carrier force. But they're going to retake Guadalcanal. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to worry about that a whole lot. I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. All right. There's an unexpected issue. We've got 12 bombers from Truck Lagoon coming at my carriers here. Uh, it looks like Lexington's being hit already. So let's... Yeah, it, it's a little confusing and takes some getting used to when it looks like they're not actually there on the map. They are actually there. Um, so... Let's go ahead and scramble some fighters. To defend. I have to get the carrier turned so we can get them in the air. Alright, Oakland. Nice looking ship. You're going to be kind of the lead on any aircraft fire here, I think. Unless those are the ones that are already taking off away. Let's get the Lexington fighters in the air as well. Oh, they don't have any fighters? Or their fighters are already out doing something else. Alright, those guys must have been the ones that already attacked. So it looks like we'll, we'll catch up to them here. And probably shoot them down before they get back to Truck Lagoon. Oh, we got more coming. Oh, dive bombers. Oh, Truck Lagoon. It is a ha it's a it's a major port, so it's going to be heavily defended. That makes total sense. 
But we got a bunch of fighters coming that way. Six carriers worth of fighters, I think, ought to be enough to take out whatever they're going to throw at me, land-based. So he's got three more dive bombers right there, but I've got a bunch of fighters headed that way. They should be able to clear them up. Yep. So we're just waiting for the other two carrier groups to get in close. All right, we got some torpedo bombers coming in. So I'm scrambling the fighters off the Hornet. We've also got the Jenkins right there. We've got the Villette right here. I don't know why he's going to the other side. But we should be able to take these Kates out before they can get any torpedoes on the task force. Beautiful. All right, and now it appears he's got four destroyers and a battle cruiser out here. So we're going to be dealing with that. Let's go ahead and get some attacks launched. What I want to do, actually, I want to wait. I want to get all these carrier groups close to each other first. So that whatever we're launching is going to be timed a little better so we're not kind of going piecemeal. There's one bomber coming out. And the carrier groups that are... The, the reason these ones are so much slower is because they've got all the battleships. In fact, I'm going to move these guys back this way. Oh, hello. That's just that one bomber. The one lone bomber from Truck Lagoon. I think we ought to be able to shoot down. Alright, there's that Emily. Right there. And we don't seem... To be all that concerned about it, let's hope the Steubenville and the Radford can take it out. Before it... Yep, yeah, it did. We did. <laughs> no worries about it getting near the, the Hornet. Okay, so you can see all of my ships, all three fleets, real close to each other now. And we're sending out some... Yeah, I've actually taken a lot of damage from my planes already. Uh, but we're sending out a force to go find at least, at the very least, this battle cruiser. Once we take out the battle cruiser, then I feel like I could probably just send my battleships in to deal with the rest of them. But I'm afraid we're going to lose a lot of these ships. Or a lot of these planes. Before we get in close enough. Let me pause for a second and see what we're looking at here. There's a destroyer. Destroyer, destroyer. We haven't even spotted the battle cruiser yet. I guess we're going for destroyers and we're going for them at night, which means we're probably going to miss with everything. Hopefully, I'll be proved wrong. But I'm not. That's right, my surface fleet will get in range pretty soon. I just want to take out the battle cruiser because the destroyers I'm not too worried about. There he is. Let's pause for a second because I really would prefer these guys. Dog squadron. Try to take him out. So we can take him out, then I'll just go straight at the destroyers with my fleets. Nope. Missed him with everything. There's a hit. We could have gotten a few more of those. We could have taken them out. Looks like we got another group coming in, though. Easy squadron. Hit the battle cruiser. I want those guns taken out. And we lost him. And yeah, we'll spot him again soon enough. There he is. No, 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 no. I told you guys to hit this guy. Darn it, I think it might be too late. They had already started launching their attacks on the destroyers.
Could we at least attempt to hit this guy? I'm not going to have many planes left by the time I get to Truck Lagoon. The good news is I've got those battleships with me. Alright, so I've, what I've done is it took a lot of micromanaging, but I went in. I don't know why the Tucson's still going that way. I don't want them to be the lead ship on this. Tucson, get out of here. Go defend the Essex. I'm sending my battleships, and the North Carolina's taking the lead. They're already in range. I'm going to take this guy out with surface fleet. Some torpedoes coming this way. Let's be careful. Oh, why is the Radford still going that way? That's another ship I ordered not to go this way. This is mainly supposed to be the the battleships. And that battle cruiser is still back here. That's the guy I'm most concerned about right now. toast beautiful he was the battle cruiser he's got his guns on me so we got to be careful here he's gonna hit somebody oh boy I should have my carriers out of range Sure everybody's attacking this guy. He's apparently got better range than I do because I'm not firing on him yet. That concerns me because battle crews can definitely take out some of my ships if I don't start getting some guns on him soon. What is the deal here? Why are we not firing back? There we go. Beautiful. Nice hit. Alright, we took out that fleet. Now on to truck. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I, I took the battleships from these carrier task force. The Colorado, Tennessee, North Carolina, Maryland, Hermione. And we're going to send them in first. Task Force 51. We're going to bombard the heck out of Truck Lagoon. We're going to stay right behind them with the carrier groups just to provide air support but we'll let the battleships do the bombarding for that port rather than risk any more planes. Hey, we spotted our big carrier force. 18 destroyers, two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, two battleships, and four carriers. Uh, and they're down here between the Gilberts and the Solomons. And they've actually, it looks like, launched something on the Marshall. So if we can take Truck Lagoon, get our planes rebuilt we can set up probably for the next episode the big showdown it'd be kind of midway part two taking out those next four carriers well we found another fleet with a battleship a heavy cruiser a light cruiser and five destroyers but i think 
our battleship task force ought to be able to handle those guys. So we're going to go ahead and start launching an attack on them. All right, that big task force with all those carriers just launched an attack, and it looks like they hit the Independence. And he's still got additional planes coming in. Let's take a look and see what we're facing here and why we're not getting those planes in the air. Is that really all I have there? Where's the Yorktown? Oh no, did he sink the Yorktown? How did I miss that? Yeah, my Yorktown task force doesn't have a Yorktown in it anymore, but I didn't see, maybe I just missed it. I didn't see anything indicating that. All right, so here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to hurry up and deal with Truck Lagoon because we're gonna have to get some carriers over there to help with this. Uh, this is not gonna end well if he's going to continue to send that major force forward. Who else can we send down that way? I don't think we have a lot of other carrier groups available. We've got the Princeton there. We've got the Yorkstown, Yorktown we already talked about. Let's start sending all these ships out to Midway. We've got the Saratoga Task Force that's at Wake. We're going to have to send them down. And we've got the Monahan that's all the way out here. So let's go ahead and at least send them toward Midway so we can start getting them in the in the region. Okay, here we go. We've got a squadron with five battleships and two cruisers. We're heading right into Truck Lagoon. Want to try, try to take out his coastal defenses as well as whatever fleet he's got in here, which we can't actually see at the moment. And once we've taken out at least the NI air, then I'll feel safe in launching any available aircraft I have to support this. I want to find that battleship too. I know he's got a battleship in here. There it is, the Yamashiro. Now let's pause for a second. Let's give everybody the order to fire on that guy. He's hiding behind this island, so I don't know how easy it's going to be to hit him. Oh, I think we hit him there. Beautiful. Got five battleships firing on this guy, so we ought to be able to take him out pretty fast. There it is. All right, battleship's gone. Now we'll take out the other surface ships. What's this? That's a heavy cruiser. Let's get him next. Take out all the big guns. Looks like the Portland's taking some damage. They yeah, were having a hard time getting the angle on him, it seems. There we go. In the meantime, I always like to watch ships sink. Although this guy's so close to the island, I don't know how much he would actually sink. All right, we got the heavy cruiser. Looks like just destroyers left now. He does have some big coastal guns over here that don't appear to be firing. Looks like he's getting resupplied at the moment. Oh, love having all these battleships available with their big guns. Is that the whole fleet? That looks like there's one more. Ah, I think we might have got them all now. So let's start hitting the the base itself. I'm going to take out these coastal guns. No, 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 not the fuel, not the fuel.
All right, so let's go back out now to the bridge, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're getting credited with a raid at the moment. But what I really want to do is scout this thing so I can do the amphibious landing. And we'll go ahead and let Task Force 51 be a part of that because they're already there. Uh, in the meantime, the big fleet heading toward the Marshall Islands, and I may not be able to do anything about it. Uh, he pretty much decimated my Yorktown task force. I lost the Indianapolis. I lost the uh, the Yorktown. I lost the Independence, I think, the, the light carrier. Uh, yeah, oh, that was brutal. And he has taken retaken the Solomons. So, uh, you know, we're taking one major port, but we're losing some minor ones in the process. We're going to have to... The, the goal here is take truck, get these carrier groups refit with their planes, and then just send a massive force to wipe out these carriers. Okay, new uh, XP milestone reached. Alamogordo, New Mexico, scientists in the Manhattan Project watched the detonation of the world's first atomic bomb. That would be December 1942, so we're about two and a half years or more ahead of schedule on that. Does that mean I'm going to have the bomb available to me early? That would be fantastic. That would certainly make things easier. Uh, so we're credited with a raid on Truck Lagoon. Task Force 54 is done in Puget Sound. Uh, that's two light cruisers. Let's go ahead and get them sent toward Midway as well. We're gathering another force there at Midway. We've reconned Truck Lagoon now, which means we can go ahead. And we lost that light cruiser, uh, the Portland, I think it was. So let's go ahead and launch the amphibious assault. with everything we've got. You can see the massive amount of war bonds that I've got. Uh, I'm saving those because once I take truck, I don't know how, what it's going to cost me to get it re repaired, ready to go, get all of my planes not only um, repaired but upgraded. So I think that's going to cost a lot of that. And we're going to wrap this episode up as soon as we take Truck Lagoon because the next one's going to be the big showdown with that carrier task force from the Japanese that uh, has been wreaking havoc on all of my games in the South Pacific. So we're just waiting on 23 to get in. Looks like they're coming in from the opposite side that my battleships are on. There's our LSTs. I don't really see any enemy fire opposing us. I think we took out most of it already. That was just me taking out the um, the torpedo boats. So it may just be a matter of going in and landing. There may not be much to this. All right, here they go. Completely unopposed landing because we send in those battleships first to take out any shore defenses. So we got Truck Lagoon. That's a major port. And that's a big deal for a number of reasons, not the least of which is that now we've got over 3,000 war bonds, but we've also now got a major port with a shipyard uh, really close to Japan. So we're going to start repairing everything. Uh, we're going we're gonna to definitely upgrade these... Uh, planes that we have there uh, but we're also going to go ahead I don't know if we can build we can't build the biggest carriers here but we can build battleships we can build Cleveland class light cruisers now it looks like just mainly cruisers and smaller independence class light carriers let's go ahead and build one of those get a couple of Clevelands we'll upgrade all of those uh, we're definitely going to now park all the fleets that are here while we get the uh, the base repaired, resupplied. And then we're going to have a massive, massive attack. Uh, he's actually 
all the way up here by the Marshall Islands now. So let's get this, what remains of this task force merged with the Saratoga task force, which we're then going to send, I think, back to Wake for now. until we're ready to go at him with everything I've got. But I'm going to wrap it up right there. Let me know your thoughts about all of that. Obviously, taking trucks a big deal, but in the process, losing the Solomons, losing two carriers uh, is a problem. But now we've got a massive amount of war bonds that we can put to good use and turn the tide and really start pushing things forward and maybe get a nuclear weapon here very soon. So we'll see. Let me know your thoughts about all that. Please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you again soon.